News. First up at 430, we continue to follow breaking news. A state trooper has died following heavy rains and flooding overnight. State police and other officials wrapping up a news conference just 30 minutes ago. And they say the trooper, a sergeant from Troop L in Litchfield, was working in Woodbury. He sent a distress call that his police vehicle was stuck in swift water at about 3.30 this morning. Now, following a lengthy search, rescue crews eventually found his vehicle and then the trooper. He was rushed to Yale New Haven Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. We've lost another member of our family. Troop L and every troop was devastated. Trooper, you go out and you look and try and rescue others and take care of them. And that's what the troopers do. They're taking care of us every day. And, uh, and you're always in harm's way. Sometimes you think it's going to be violence. You never know what it's going to be. It could be flooding. Now, police are not releasing the trooper's name as of yet. What well, was an emotional scene outside of Yale New Haven Hospital where fellow troopers gathered to honor their fallen brother? Absolutely. That's where we find Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland, who is live with the mobile newsroom with that part of our coverage. Matt. Well, Shantae and Irene, not only did you have Connecticut State Troopers out here at the hospital, you also had the New Haven Police Department, hospital staffers, even complete strangers walking through downtown, stopping when they saw this scene to offer their support and some prayers. Now, as a number of Connecticut State Troopers stood at attention and saluted uh, the body of this fallen Connecticut State Police Sergeant, a 26-year veteran of the force, was escorted out of Yale New Haven Hospital and placed into the back of a waiting hearse, right there alongside these state troopers during this difficult time, members of the New Haven Police Department's command staff, the city's fire department, and Mayor Justin Elliker as a show of support. What followed was a touching tribute following this tragic loss. With their lights and sirens flashing, a number of New Haven motorcycle officers led the way as dozens of state police cruisers followed. Nearby, though, a number of onlookers, many of them staffers who came out of the hospital, some standing with their hands over their hearts, others with tears in their eyes and offering up a prayer as they took a few minutes out of their day to pay their respect. Just to honor um, the trooper, and it's not, like you said, it's not just us. It's everyone out here who has seen it, everyone at the hospital who just stopped for a minute and um, recognized his service um, and his loss of life. Um, it's just a, it's, it's very, a very touching and emotional time in our now you heard from New Haven's police chief right there. She said she and members of her department wanted to be here for the Connecticut State Troopers because so many folks from around the state, well, they were here for New Haven after the Elm City lost a firefighter back in the spring. We'll have that part of the story come up tonight on Eyewitness News at 530. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.